Well, last night I was watching the 10 o'clock news and I'd heard about a church that had burned and uh, it's a local church just barely up into Tennessee uh, probably eight minutes from my my property and uh, you can see there's not a whole lot left pretty neat old bell hate to see that bell sitting out here like this I know some idiot to steal it but uh, yeah it looks like they lost it all last night even melted the vinyl out here but uh, I am trying my best to find out who has this church and uh, see what I can do to help out. So as some of you may recall, I've got a uh, couple of buildings on some commercial property. And uh, matter of fact, a church was my previous tenant and uh, the church moved out a couple of weeks ago. So when I heard about this uh, recent church uh, burning, uh, I thought, Maybe it's meant to be for them to uh, to be able to get into my place and, uh, you know, I do whatever I can to help them out, give them some free months rent to help them get their feet on the ground, whatever's needed. Uh, but I dropped off information and uh, I haven't heard from the church, so I'm assuming they, uh, they either have different plans or uh, maybe they have no plans at this point. Maybe, maybe they just need some time to think about it, but... Uh, Either way, uh, y'all keep them in your thoughts and prayers, and uh, hopefully, hopefully the best to come out for for them, whatever that is. So as for the rest of today, what I'm gonna do is I've got a uh, delivery I've got to make about two hours away from here, from home. Uh, I've got to deliver a port swing. You know, last week I was showing you in a video that I made two port swings. Well, today I got to deliver one of those. So uh, I. Um, I've got a couple of places that I'm going to try to stop off to and see uh, see what I can. Uh, I, I want to introduce y'all to a couple of things. One is uh, a cast iron skillet company that's uh, about an hour away from here, and uh, I, I've always loved their products and everything. So uh, I've owned their stuff for years, and I know this being an RV related channel, there's a lot of people on here that use cast iron skillets. So I thought, well, uh, while I'm in that direction, I'm going to take y'all by there. So uh, look forward to getting that done. And also I've got something that, uh, that I've, I've been wanting for years. It's, a, it's an antique that I've seen somewhere. And I'm going, I'm going to go pester the owner and see if I can't buy that thing. So anyway, I'll uh, take y'all with me. Well, I know I told you a couple of videos back that uh, I always wanted some owl and irons. And it always bothered me that I didn't buy them when I seen them. Well, this building here has another item that has always bugged me that I didn't get. I have had only two items over all the years that I've been buying and selling. Only two items that I missed out on that has killed me that I didn't get them. This uh, old country store here, they had an auction in there one time and... Uh, there was an item that they left on the wall and they did not want to sell. So I'm here today to pester the family and see if they've changed their mind. So I, I wasn't able to catch the family, but I'm going to leave a, leave a letter in the mailbox and see if somebody will give me a call. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you have seen me uh, promote and talk about different products and different things that I use and that I've liked over the years. Uh, Reed Camper Sales sold me my RV uh, about four, three and a half, four years ago, and uh, they did me real well, so I have uh, shown a lot of videos of their products. I would say I have probably shown, I don't know, maybe close to half a million dollars worth of their product, and uh, I've done it because they, they, they did me good, and I feel like, uh, you know, not only is the product they sell good, but I know that Reed Camper is good. But I've also shown you that um, my, my deodorant, there was a video I even talked about my deodorant. There was another video where I talked about uh, the last 10 pairs of boots I have owned have been Wolverine boots. Well, as you may have noticed, may or may not have noticed anyway, my channel is registered as a RV travel channel, I think, something like that. Anyway, I know there's a lot of people on my that watch my channel that 
do traveling, they go camping, hunting, fishing, all that good fun stuff. So one of my favorite products relative to what, what my life is all about is Lodge Skillets. So that's where the video goes from here is I wanted to introduce you to Lodge Skillets. But I'm going to tell you something, it did backfire on me. And uh, so you're kind of going to get a little bit of the behind the scenes of it's not always great. Uh, you know, sometimes you watch the videos of YouTubers and we tell the good and the bad. Many times we just tell the good, but today you're going to get to hear a little bit of bad of YouTube and uh, trying to actually do a channel and have one. So here we go. But stick around because there is some bonus footage at the end. I know, I know y'all like the bonus footage, so stay all the way to the last drop. Here we go. I'm in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee, which is uh, just on the outside of uh, Chattanooga, probably about 20 miles, at a Lodge factory store. This is where you can get a good deal on cast iron skillets. Uh, this is actually where they make them. The factory is right behind this building here. So let me go in here and check this place out and uh, share with you a little bit of what I find. So here I am in the showroom and man, they have got a little bit of everything. We've got, uh, this is just a small portion of the showroom they have here. You can see these are all Dutch ovens in this area. They've got them of all kinds of different sizes. And, uh, man, look at this big old pot here. Boy, you could make a big mess of chili in this thing. God, that lid, <laughs> that lid must weigh 30 pounds, I guarantee you. Pretty cool. Look at this one here. I like it. It's got a, got a crest on there with an eagle pretty neat they even got some old enamel ware well it's not old but it's the old style enamel ware we've got the big pots and I'm back here to the back area where this is where they carry the the seconds scratch and dents and that kind of thing of course that's the area I like the best so let me do a little shopping see what I can pick up for us to cook on this winter man I tell you what there's nothing better than having some cornbread cooked in a cast iron skillet of course with mine i like to always put uh jalapenos and cheese in there mm, boy you talking about something good well i just come out of the uh, lodge cast iron skillet uh, factory uh, factory store what was weird is i went in there and i asked the cashier if it was okay if I could film in the store that I had a YouTube channel and I wanted to share uh, the store with the people that view my channel. And uh, she said, I don't know, let me ask somebody. So she, uh, she called the management and asked them would it be okay. And they said, yeah, it'd be fine. And uh, they asked how, how big the channel was and that sort of thing. And I said, well, at this point, I've had uh, 225,000 views on my channel since, uh, since the day I started. And uh, the woman said, well, that's, that's good. You know, she gave me the attaboy and that kind of stuff. So I started walking around the store looking and uh, this woman that worked there got to the end of uh, one of the aisles and would just stand there staring at me the whole time I'm trying to shop in the store and it, she was she was watching me as if I was trying to steal something and I'm thinking okay maybe you don't know why I'm in here maybe you don't know that I'm in here shopping and trying to share your product with uh, the rest of the world but God do you really think that I would try to steal a cast iron skillet Oh man, I mean, I'm looking at I'm looking at skillets that weigh like 15 pounds, 10, 12 inches big around. Yeah, I think I'll try to stick one of these under my shirt and sneak out with it. How stupid! <laughs> so uh, you know, the thing is, I, I can't get too mad at the company. I don't know if it's company policy of. Hey, y'all, y'all follow people around. Make sure they don't steal. Maybe it's just her, you know, and she didn't have a, a pleasurable look on her face like, I'm here to help you if you need help. Because if it would have been that, I wouldn't have thought a thing about it. But uh, 
No, she just had this uh, stand there and watch me kind of attitude. And and uh, when I left uh, that area, she did too. Which, you know, it is one of those areas where you could get between uh, two, two aisles and I guess you, you could steal back there, but still, that's ridiculous. I have never, well, I was going to say I've never stolen anything in my life, but when I was about five years old, I went to a hardware store and there was a uh, an area with fabrics and I was just fascinated by how a zipper worked. I had never seen a zipper not attached to clothing and I took that zipper at the age of four, maybe five years old. That's the only thing I've ever stolen in my life and I sure... Sure didn't plan on coming in here and stealing a cast iron skillet today, but you know, what's crazy is uh, people could have watched on YouTube, could have been like, man, what a what a cool store. But after, uh, I didn't get hardly anything done in there, as you've seen, you've seen the footage that I got. It's a big store. It's probably close to the size of a basketball gym. So I would have uh, I would have filmed a lot of stuff in there and pushed their product, promoted them, and whatever. But nah, I don't know if uh, I don't know if it's company policy to stalk your customers and make them feel awkward, or if it's just uh, just because I come in there without a woman, it uh, it looks odd or something. I don't know. I don't know what she was thinking, but uh, I, I'm not I'm not so desperate. I need to steal. That's for sure. Okay, David, tell me what's going on. Okay, so anyway, it was, I got into this area that, like, and, and here's what's funny is it's just the seconds, as in the, the, the bad cast iron skillets, the scratch and dents, the whatever. So I'm in this area, it's at the very back of the store, and I'm in between two aisles. And I had stopped filming for a little while, and I just wanted to rummage through stuff, kind of get, kind of get the feel of the place, and be like, "Oh, I like this skillet, or this is a nice size one here." I had already asked permission to film. I had done went through like three people, and my whole thing is, is I love lodge skillets, so I was, I was there to promote their product. You know, be like, "Hey, I love your stuff," and all that. So anyway. Out of the corner of my eye, because I'm looking along this wall, and out of the corner of my eye, I can see this woman, and she's she's like this. <laughs> and I'm like, what? It, did you did you think I came here to steal? You know what could I possibly do in a cast iron skillet store? What what are you thinking? I'm why are you? Why is security? You oh know, my gosh! So. 60 year old woman, I guess 55 60. I don't know anyway. So I got my skillet just so nobody thinks I stole it You can see like the, you can see all the burnt stuff on there from years So anyway, and it's a lodge lodge skillet. So anyway, I'm thinking does she think I'm gonna steal? You know like I'm gonna be like oh nobody will ever ever notice this Well, y'all have a nice day David. Nothing to see here yeah, I mean, come on! I have never stole it. I just crazy, crazy, That's crazy. Yeah, cast iron skillet store. <laughs> Don't stick it down your pants. <laughs> <laughs>